one of the first of many, you know, having grown up in Hollywood and lived here my whole life, you know, you see a lot of a lot of death. And having been sober for a long time, you see a lot of people try and get sober. And a lot of people die and not make it or hang themselves. You know, I've had a few friends that hung themselves because they went, they were sober and then they went out, you know, started using again and they couldn't make it back, you know, and they're just found dead hanging in an apartment. This wave of hopelessness that came over me, like, now what am I gonna do? I have no idea how to deal with this problem. And then I was kind of depressed for a couple of days and then I just kept going for another, you know, two years, three years. But I remember that as being a very, kind of the moment where I was like, I have a problem. I remember so clearly my last day of drinking and you know, my hitting bottom, as they say. Um, then later I hear your bottoms where you stop digging, you know, and that you don't have to keep doing it. I was so hopeless. I wanted to shoot myself in the head, but I didn't have a gun. I didn't, you know, I, I probably wouldn't have done it if I could have, but the point is, is that I was so hopeless. And I remember feeling like, I can't imagine living the rest of my life this way, but I also couldn't imagine not drinking for the rest of my life. 